So the Sunday Times has voted Stockbridge the number one place to live in Scotland. So I'm going to go and ask some locals what's so good about it. What warrants Stockbridge to be number one place to live in Scotland? Oh. We all have our illusions, don't we? <laughs> You've got a lot of um, green space and also you've got tons of pubs and you can go shop and anytime the charity shops are fantastic. There's, There's so, so many. many, aren't there? So many. Like we've literally spent all morning and we're going to go back. <laughs> the money people have moved in. Well, explain who are the money people? Yeah, they're retired and, and they, they buy property and, and that's it. For somebody who works in Stockbridge, what's so good about it? Uh, it's like a little town just outside Edinburgh and it's got that kind of town feeling and you're five minutes away from the, well, Edinburgh really. So. Do you live in Stockbridge or just work here? Yeah, I, I pretty much live here from working <laughs> here, so yeah, here pretty much uh, six days a week, 13 hours a day, but I live, I live in Leith, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice place to live too. Lovely, so Stockbridge has been voted the number one place to live by the Sunday Times. What makes it so good, Catherine? It's got really good cake shops and we love the dog shop as well, and there's plenty of dogs here, which is really nice. What about for yourself, Peter? What's, uh, what's number one here? What makes it so good? Loads of great bars and restaurants. There's a great little uh, French deli just across the road, Henry's or Henri which is really nice. Um, oh, you yeah. don't hear the, the Edinburghers pronouncing it like that very often. <laughs> Say again, Henri's? Henri's. <laughs> well, it used to be more of a, a village mm -hmm. and everybody knew people and there was a camaraderie. Yeah. Now it's, I mean, look at the traffic and everything. I don't care very much for it. The only thing that's good is the... The house prices still are quite good. <laughs> You're one of the big money people in Stockbridge? Uh, no, I'm a retired civil servant. And uh, I've got a bob or two put away, don't worry. Oh, come on, we'll start up a venture then. Uh, you have to pass this lady first. Oh, right, I have to pass away first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are you okay? Anyway.